global warming is happening, one observable is the shrinking Arctic sea ice. In 2017, the Arctic sea ice area is 40% less than that was in 1980. The global warming is caused by the greenhouse effect. Energy comes from the sun. When sunlight hits the earth, some is refracted back to the space, and some is trapped by the atmosphere, which keeps the earth warm. However, the sharp increase of the greenhouse gas is overheating us. 76% of the greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide, and 16% is methane. Although methane is much less than carbon dioxide, it's 25 times more efficient in trapping the heat. Methane has been increasing since 1980 and keep hitting new highs in recent years. The main objective of this measurement is to investigate the methane emission rate of the solving soil. This is our instrument, the Ultra Portable Greenhouse Gas Analyzer from Los Gatos Research. The left side panel includes gas inlet port, gas exhaust port. The right side panel includes many different data interference ports. It has a built-in computer and you only need to connect a monitor and a mouse. It uses a cavity-enhanced laser absorption spectrometry to measure the gas concentration. This instrument has very high sensitivity. This is what happens when I exhale air to the tube connected to the inlet port. The carbon dioxide and water vapor increase dramatically. This is the frozen Douglas Lake near the University of Michigan Biological Station. The forest and ground are covered by a thick layer of snow. I dig a hole in the snow and put our self-made chamber on the ground. Then two tubes are used to connect the chamber to the inlet and exhaust ports of the instrument to form a closed system. We have three measurement sites located at different latitude and similar longitude, including University of Michigan and Arbor, University of Michigan Biological Station at Powston, and Wawa of Ontario, Canada. Now let's look into the measurement data. This shows the concentration of methane emitted from soil for three days from February 4th to 6th at UN Biological Station. The red line shows the temperature. You can see there is a time lag between the methane concentration and temperature. It is because methane molecules need time to generate and release from soil. Generally, the higher temperature, the higher methane concentration released from soil. We also measure the carbon dioxide and vapor concentration. We observe that they also have a strong relation with temperature. Next, we compare two adjacent days with similar temperature, but there was snow on the second day. Interestingly, the methane concentration decreases when there is snow while the carbon dioxide concentration increases. Methane mainly comes from the soil and the snow cover decreases the emission from the soil. In comparison, carbon dioxide can mostly be controlled by the trees in the rural area. Snow cover reflects the sunlight and decreases the photosynthesis. Less carbon dioxide is absorbed and thus the carbon dioxide concentration increases. Finally, we compare the measurements at three different locations, Ann Arbor, UMBS, and Wawa. They are the different latitude with about same longitude. There are about 3 degrees increase in latitude for each location from south to north. The values are average over one day. The temperature is lowest at Wawa. The average methane emission is lowest at UMBS. The average carbon dioxide emission is highest at UMBS. The average water vapor emission decreases as the latitude increases. In summary, there is no obvious dependence on latitude for methane and carbon dioxide emissions according to this one-day average. More data are needed for analysis. According to other resources, methane concentration slightly increases with latitude, while carbon dioxide concentration doesn't have obvious dependence on latitude. Here is a brief summary. In situ measurements are conducted at three different sites. UM and Number, UM Biological Station, Powston, and Wawa, Canada. It demonstrates an obvious time lag between the methane concentration and the air temperature. Methane decreases dramatically when it snows. To investigate methane's dependence on latitude, there are too many environment variations. We need more continuous measurements using a uniform calibration process to minimize their impacts.
Remote sensing technologies can provide continuous large-scale measurements and are important for monitoring, adaptation, and mitigation of Earth's climate and global changes.